Hey guys, Lee here with Seek Outside and today we're going to go over the LBO base and three piece vestibule with the LBO two person nest inside. We're going to go over a couple different ways of setting it up. We're going to need our center pole whether we're using trekking poles um, with our trekking pole hitch attaching the two, um, elongating it, or the carbon fiber small shelter pole with a prusik loop on. I've got black cordage on, so it might be kind of hard to see. We're gonna need some sort of cordage. However, we're gonna set it up, follow along, and you're gonna master it. All right, so we have the LBO base and three-piece vestibule right here. Check it out. You can start with the base or the three-piece vestibule. Um, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna start with the base, though. That's how this is gonna be done. I'm going to kind of get my footprint out here. So I'm going to start one stake loop away from the door. So I've got the door right here. Here's the first one away from it on the base. I'm going to stake this down kind of wherever because then this is the one we're gonna play off of. One stake out loop away. And I'm gonna pull it tight, let it kind of snap back. Natural position, a lot like what we do for a lot of our shelters, Cimarron, Red Cliff, Silver Tip. And I'm gonna come over here to the three piece vestibule. I'm gonna go with the middle point which is coming right out of the cone, middle seam, middle stake loop. I'm gonna pull it tight, let it snap back into a natural position, and stake it down. Okay, now we're ready for the pull. I'm gonna use our carbon fiber pole. I've got a Prusik loop on here already. I know you can't see it because it's black cordage on black carbon fiber, but there is a Prusik loop on there. And that's what I'm gonna be using for the nest here in a little bit. Show you guys that when I get this all set up. Come out the door. Put it up into the cone. Alrighty. Let's zip it back up. I can stake out the rest of the points. We're gonna do the doors next. Now I'm gonna do the stake out loop on the base side. So if you're looking, it's gonna be on this side because this is the base over here, three piece vestibule over there. Just because I'm gonna tie the door back when I'm showing you guys the nest. All right. Oh. Then I'm gonna go a stake out a stake loop away from the loop that we've already staked out on the three-piece vestibule. Same on the other side. All right. Now we got the tent set up. Now I'm going to show you some different ways we can put in the nest. Before we do that, I forgot to take this down. Come here to the backside. Take this bad boy down. All right. Right here is our nest, LBO, two-person nest. 
and I have already got some cordage on the bottom stakeout loops. They come with these line locks already connected. All right. You just run some cordage in through the top and then out the bottom. So we're going to run it to the top. Back out the bottom. All right. Now these are going to be attached to the stakeout loops around the base. So there will be there will be one. Which you like to find it. One that just has some, here we go. One that just has some strings attached to it, some tie back strings. This is gonna go on that middle, that middle stake loop right there. So I'm gonna come in here and stake this out. Tie this in, I should say. All right, now I'm on the outside doing this. However, you could do it on the inside if you're getting rained on and wanna get out of the rain as quick as possible. Um, we're going to take these two things of string right here, just tie them on to this stake loop. I'm just going to do a quick one here for time's sake, because that'll hold tension. All right, now we've got our line lock thread right here, so we've got our piece of string we threaded it in through the top and out through the bottom of this line lock what we're going to do with this guy similar to what we just did is tie him in and you can just do quick ties you think you need it to hold up you do some sort of other knot to make sure that it stays taut and then we're just gonna tension this, pull that tight, and that will stretch the nest to the footprint of that stake. So from the middle point to this stake loop. All right, now normally we would just move around the shelter attaching the nest to these stake loops using the line lock, using this thread. However, there is another way where we totally lose this thread and bring in this guy. So this is our compression strap using the gatekeeper system that we use in our backpacks. However, it's got this stake loop right here. So what is gonna happen is we would then set it up this way where we, t where we put in the stake in this loop. So the stake goes through the loop, and you stake it out wherever because then we are going to attach the gatekeeper to the stake loop on the shelter. We're going to attach it to this loop on the nest. Tension both um, to where you think you might want them. And voila. All right, now we got the nest attached into the stake loops in the bottom of the shelter. We're ready to bring up the top now. So we got this line lock right here at the top, at the apex of the nest. I've got some orange reflective cordage in here just so you guys can see, because it's kind of hard with black on black and, and all that. So we are going to run this up to the prussic loop on the pole, and we are going to tension it and get it all set up. All right, now we've got a prussic loop right here, and I made it kind of big just so you guys can see what was going on. Um, now we're just gonna take our orange reflective cordage from the top of the nest. We're just gonna run it up here. I'm gonna do some, a couple quick knots. Nothing fancy, just something to, that'll keep the tension. Because really where we're gonna get the tension from is this line lock right here. So we're just gonna grab that tail end and tension it until it is all the way tight. And we can even run the prussic 
up the pole if we're not getting enough um, tension on the nest here. So then we can continue running up the pole, not thinking we're getting enough tension until we think we've got it where we want it.